Hello. Hello. What are we doing? Working on a new hat for another kiddo at church. Why are you sitting in the car without the engine running? Well, because I thought I was waiting for you. I guess I should have, but like you have to keep your foot on the pedal and turn it on at the same time to do that. Where are we going? We're going to BJ's, but you should take a gander in the back seat. We're definitely going to have to make a post office run first. You know the BJ's we're going to? It's next to Dick's. There's no Dick's next to this one. That can't be true. It's somewhere lurking. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all the different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it so we have about five minutes between a rainstorm so we're headed to BJ's yes because we need to just like meander around and look at pretty things uh, <laughs> I hate meandering yeah you're definitely a hunter and I'm a gatherer I have a purpose for going I cannot believe it it has only taken, what, seven months, but we are out of toilet paper and toilet and uh, paper towels. Yeah, I mean, so you're hunting for that, but I want to look up and down the pretty aisles because I have had nothing to look at except for gray skies and rain. I know, the rain has been really, really bad. A and depressing. The panhandle keeps getting hammered. I mean, we haven't had any threats really from hurricanes or anything Flooding, this though. year, but this last week, We've had so much flooding, and every time you're like, okay, the water is finally going down, uh, we get more rain. So there's another lake in front of our house. So there's nothing more comforting than looking at the beautiful packaging in like a wholesale club store because it's next level, right? I right. mean, the way that they display, even the books are gorgeous, and I just need to go look at something pretty right now. So we're gonna take you guys along. This may be a video that never gets released because if we don't find anything, we're not gonna release it. But if we find something, guess what? You get to see what it is. <laughs> it's not raining. It's drizzling. It's enough that, you know, South Florida hair is already an issue. I don't need to add to it. It is windy. It is. You may blow away. Aw, I hope not. This is always a deal to get the walnuts or nuts that are really designed for baking, but it's the same thing. I mean, these walnuts are $8.49 for 32 ounces. You get a giant bag of them and all it is is shelled walnuts, no seasoning. I love these things on keto because I can chop up pepper, onion, garlic, tomato very, very finely. And that way when I'm putting them into recipes, I can get a little bit of vegetables in every bite without using a bunch of vegetables. Now is a great time to look for deals on glass products if you're making the transition from plastic food storage to glass food storage. This is a 27 piece set, 20 bucks. So they're also having a deal here at BJ's where if you buy four items and there's a whole list of things, you get a free butterball turkey. And the cool thing is, is all the things that I need, they're on this list and they all have coupons too. So like the Tide, the Cascade, every one of these things has like a $3 coupon. So you're gonna save money and get a free turkey. $12, I'm gonna put them on my balls, my dryer balls. Look, Joe, there's a giant pack of Vicks VapoRub, or you can have an entire shower, an effervescent Vicks VapoRub shower. VapoRub is like the best stuff ever. When you can find rubbing alcohol, you buy it. It is hard to come by now, and I use it after every shower, and it actually helps me to not get swimmer's ear. One more instance where you have to check the labels. We've got a new packaging for Hillshire Farms. You've got these sausages. So you're like, okay, there is five carbs per serving. So you're thinking, all right, well, is it five part carbs per hot dog? No, 
Is it hot, five carbs for half a hot dog? No, there are six sausages in here. So even if you cut them in half, you're thinking 12 servings? No, they say there's 14 servings in here. Here is a great deal on unsweetened almond milk. You get six of the 32 ounce packs for just $10. Hey, you could have the Disney experience at your house for way less money. Here's the turkey drumsticks that they always have at Disney World that are usually $10 a piece or more, $11 for two of them the giant legs. Okay, so you get a free butterball turkey and the sign says 16 to 24 pounds. So of course, I'm looking for like the biggest one because you know me, right? I gotta get the value. I want the 24 pound turkey. Every single turkey is like 19 pounds. So you're going to a holiday party and you're wondering what in the world am I going to bring this year? Well, nobody will want to turn you away if you bring them some delicious, cheese trays, wrap meat and cheese. These are some grab and go options under $10. You also have these which are really good and they have both the mozzarella and the prosciutto and mozzarella and uncured pepperoni. I prefer the pepperoni ones. They also have anipasti options. It's got the olives and the cheese and some meat in them. So if you like lunch meat, BJ's has some awesome options for $5 to $7 and they will slice it to order. Some holiday seafood recipes call for crab and a lot of people say, what's the difference between imitation crab and crab meat that causes it to be so expensive? Well, there's a lot of additives in the imitation crab meat. While this is a total of zero carbs per serving, this is total carbs of 15 total carbs per serving. So not all seafood spreads are created equally. You do have some like the Key West Smoke Fish Company that just has some mayonnaise and the fish itself mixed together. You're looking at a total of 0.3 grams of carbs per serving. But when you're putting that up against some of these spreads where they put a lot of dextrose and sugar and all kinds of products in it, now you're looking at, let's see, eight carbohydrates. You'll definitely be the belle of the holiday ball if you bring smoked salmon, 20 bucks, but it is delicious and no carbs. If you wanna use butter for your keto chow, butter prices are really coming down. We've got four packs for under $8. Don't get fooled by things that are marked avocado oil spread. This looks really, really fancy and nice, but it is just avocado oil, palm kernel oil, and sea salt. We love this packaging for sour cream. It is great for camping because we can just grab it and go. But also, if you get that water separation, you can just knead it right back into the sour cream and you don't lose all that volume. We're gonna grab some broccoli because lately Joe has been wanting to have loaded broccoli like Texas Roadhouse has with every single meal. That's why we need this. <laughs> Let us buy some lettuce because I love me some greasy lettuce underneath my hamburger. So for the record, we came here for three things. Lettuce, toilet paper, and paper towels. But somehow, we have a complete cart of nonsense. Okay, this is that amazing technology in kid cups I'm talking about. How do they drink it? How does the liquid come out? I, I still cannot figure this out, but, but they do. The kids can figure it out. They figure it out. There is no sippy cup top, but it works. But this is something that does not work. And I don't understand. I know we bought one when my kids were little and then you quickly are like, why am I storing smelly diapers in the house? And then as soon as you open the container, it's like, oh my gosh. I can understand it if maybe you're at a daycare center and you're like, I can't you know, change out the trash can every 15 minutes because I've gotta be watching all of the kids. But at home, yes. How long do you want to keep your child's dirty diapers in the room with you? <sighs> Look at this, epic pork rinds, $8 for a giant bag. Okay, so this looks like it is a great deal, $10 for six cans of um, chicken breast. And it looks a lot like the Costco brand, but the Costco brand is way cleaner. This one has chicken breast, salt, chicken broth, modified food starch, and sodium phosphates, whereas the Costco brand, it's got just chicken breast and water. Don't be fooled by something just because it says cauliflower crust pizza. This is not like the cauli foods crust that we use. We've got a link for it down below. This one from Molinero's, it's only $11 for the kit. However, one fourth of the pizza, just not the sauce, just the crust, 24 total carbs. So you're looking at 100 total carbs for this cauliflower crust pizza. And take a look at some of these ingredients. Yes, you've got cauliflower, but you've also got rice flour and cornstarch. You've got tapioca starch, sugar, 
uh, vinegar and canola oil. Look, they've got the individual packs of tuna here. They've got the Joe size pack and they've got the Rachel size pack. Okay, so we love Frank's red hot sauce, but here's the thing, you have to be careful on keto. Well, honestly, you have to be careful no matter what diet you're on. This is the Frank's red hot. It's just hot sauce. This is their wing sauce. All this is, is the, the red hot sauce and they cut it down with canola oil to make it into a wing sauce. So both of these are the same price, $7.30. So what you do is you're gonna get this and then you cut it down with butter and then you have a regular wing sauce and you're getting a lot more actual hot sauce and not dealing with all the canola oil that they put in this. So don't buy this, buy this. This is the aisle that should have Jaws music playing for me and Joe because this is the nuts aisle and me and Joe have an addiction to nuts, especially look at this dry roasted macadamia nuts. And they have more up there. Oh no. So this is a tough one for Joe. This is one of his favorite things during the holidays is chestnuts. And although it has a little keto friendly um, sticker up here. It's actually 17 total carbohydrates for five pieces and there is zero chance that Joe is only going to eat five pieces. These are really cool. If you enjoy cheese wisps and you have a little bit of trouble like not eating an entire giant bag of it like I do, these are individual bags, 14 individual bags for $12.99. So here's another instance where you need to watch out for things that are branded cauliflower. Even though it says cauliflower and gluten flea, there's all kinds of wonky ingredients in all of these guys. And you're gonna be looking at 19 total carbs per serving, which is 10 chips. No wonder that elf on the shelf is always getting into shenanigans. Look what he has gotten himself into now. It is a box of sugar. So the battery went dead on our other camera but I have to show this. Okay. Now, I know you have an issue with these, so they're so on good. sale for $3 off a bag, but since you have an issue with them, I I'm, eat them all. I'm gonna buy two bags, but I will be happy to eat your bag. With the money that I save from my share of having like a bag, I'm gonna get this pink flamingo, gotta go toilet toy. So let me push this, because he's gotta go. This is me in the camper when I was worried before we had a toilet. Oh my God. Gotta have this. I'm eating Lily's instead. We headed to BJ's just in time. I got home and already had to borrow one of the toilet paper rolls, because yeah, toilet paper, we were out. Did you see toilet paper? We're back. We got <laughs> paper towels. We are going to clean up some crime scenes. The only thing is, is I still hide the paper towels because yeah. if I leave them out, Caleb and Anthony will use an entire roll to clean the countertops. Like, well, not just clean the countertops. Like, oops, I spilled a half a glass of water. Give me a roll of tight paper towels. It's like, go get a towel. Yeah, this looks like we have a lot to spare and it's, we don't have a square to spare. No, not really. What else we got? A lot of toilet paper. The best toilet paper there is. I look, I just shook the camera and everything. Says Joe. This is the best toilet paper ever. Oh, it's upside down. What is your favorite toilet paper brand? America's long lasting value brand. Joe loves Scott's toilet paper. I'm not picky about toilet paper. I will use anything. I just want to make sure that we're not in this situation. That's have why Scott's is so good. No toilet paper, but what is your favorite toilet paper? So during COVID, like when the whole toilet paper scare, right? The great toilet paper scare of 2020. We would have used public school toilet paper. And I think that is like one layer well, down from sandpaper. You should have seen what I was almost going to buy. But we did during the, during the whole scare, we bought whatever we could find and we bought Charmin. Here's the problem. We go through like a roll of Charmin in a half a day. Like, I don't understand how do you, and you have a bidet. Like you need like four squares. That's all you need. You don't need a roll of toilet paper. I want both. But here's a trick. But you're gonna, you're supposed to be using less. Here is something that you, that we should do. Okay? okay. So they did a little game with the kids at youth group with toilet paper, and they said, okay, you take a roll of toilet paper and show me how much would you use to go to the bathroom. All right. So each kid had a different 
amount, right? A different amount of squares. Well, once they had selected how much they would use, they had to say to the group something about themselves, a fun fact about themselves, all right? So the kids that only had four or five squares, they were like, Phew, I am so glad I only use a few squares because that's how much I have to share. There was a kid there though, Caleb and Anthony said, that was just like wrapping it and wrapping it and wrapping it. He was there for like 30 minutes talking about himself. And as like a middle schooler, high schooler, that is not their favorite thing to do. So it's kind of funny. So at home, you have to say something about yourself. You have to share a fun fact based on how many squares of toilet paper that you use in a sitting. Anyway, I like Scott's because there's a lot on a roll and it lasts a long time. And the bottom, and it's not super expensive because the bottom line is you're literally flushing it down the toilet. It's money you're flushing down the toilet. Okay, so enough with the paper goods. What do you got? I got some scents for my balls, but <laughs> I'm, I have to smell them now because, yeah, you can't smell it in the store. So, like lavender, that varies greatly. greatly. There's some lavenders that I'm like, this is disgusting, and some that I'm like, this is so awesome. So... I don't know. I mean, this smells good. It's not a terrible one, but the lemon one is... I love lemon. Well, I was looking forward to it, but it's like the spicy lemon, not like a lemon I would... Yeah, not... it's okay. So we'll have to use it out. We're but... leaning in on cinnamon, I think. Okay. We got toothpaste, toothpaste which Caleb already snagged one. Yeah, because we're out of that too. Normally, we go to like the dollar store, but there was a coupon on it and... Then when you, this was one of the things where if you buy this, you get the turkey. So it wasn't super bad. It worked out to be like a dollar or 75 a tube or something. Well, like and that. I wanted some whitening. I know that this is probably just all in my head, but I'm thinking now that my hair is lighter, I feel like I see my teeth more and I'm really afraid, afraid of coffee stains. <laughs> we got broccoli, cause I'm gonna do loaded, loaded broccoli. broccoli. And then to go with that, we got some cheddar cheese. cheese. Yes, I know it's pretty shredded, but you know what? I don't worry about it. There's, it says no, it says two carbs in a serving. There's carbs in all cheese. I don't care if the label says zero. There's carbs in there, especially now with the new rules and everything. You're gonna start seeing there's more carbs than you thought. So we got cheddar cheese and we got sour cream. I like it like this, like Rachel said, because when we go camping, Just you don't have to it. worry about that container opening up and that kind of stuff. Less air gets in. And then, yeah, just keep kneading it. Just like when you get the nut butters and stuff. I just, a lot of times we buy the big vat. But I like to have this for going camping and stuff. It's great to throw in the cooler and not worry about it. Yeah. What else we got? We got some lilies. Yeah. Oh, we got two of these. But you said you don't really want your lilies, right? No. One bag for each of us. I love the little. It's a nice little cups. treat. We don't need them very often. These will last us for a long time. But the thing with Costco is Lily's is hit and miss. Like they had yeah. this $3 sale off once before. And then when I went back like two weeks later, we yeah. don't have it anymore. They just didn't have it. So now they got it back in stock, but there were like six bags left. So they may not have it for a while. And I'm just not paying regular price. I prefer Chalk last. Zero. But it's nice to just have this, like if one of our nephews come over, nice to have a little something for that. You like I need something. You know what's really cute? Serving size for these, two cups. Yeah, but we only ever eat one. I know, but I think that that's super generous. Yeah. We got this. Well, so Anthony- It's not a Christmas present. We're just opening it now. We're opening it now. Anthony was completely mesmerized by the one that my mom had over at her house. And it really is super helpful because I just want like a slice of onion, a slice of tomato. Right. This makes sure I get all of the little chocolates. I've actually had these before. I had the big one, like your mom. And the reason I don't like is it takes up so much but room. this is small. And I have limited counter space, but I like, this is like a little handle thing. And then it's got these four cups. So we can actually dice up a bunch of onion, put it in a thing and put it away put and have it that it. way. So I do like this one a little bit better because it's a little bit smaller. They were demonstrating a mandolin there and we're like, yeah, no. Yeah, our, no. Our kids will chop their arm off with that thing. You'll chop your arm off with that. It's true. We got some Swifters. This was part of that turkey deal. This is the greatest thing for the camper. Yeah, that's pretty much where we use them from. Yeah. So. I usually just mop the floors at home. We got Tide. And we're not going to do anything like terrible with these Tide Pods. Just put them in the washing machine. Yeah. So here's the thing. 
I used to always buy the liquid because the pods are more expensive than the liquid or the powder. But I'm heavy handed. But Rachel's kind of heavy handed when it comes to, and the kids are really heavy handed. Go, 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 go. And we have the good wash machine, the HE, where you're just supposed to use a little bit, but it's it's hard to fathom that like a cap fall would be enough. Is enough. So you want to keep adding which gums up the washing machine, makes the washing machine like die quicker. Yeah. And ends up costing us more money anyway. So we just started, you know what? We're gonna buy the packs because then you literally only need one or if you have an oversized load too. The thing, we all get whatever's on sale. So yeah. Tide happens to be on sale at BJ's. This is like my birthday and my anniversary and Christmas together because yeah, Tide was being on, on sale, sale. And a $3 off coupon. And then- I love it, Tide. Buying Tide also got you the turkey, but they have four different boxes of Tide there. And that's the funny part. So this one was $30 for 168, mm -hmm. but then they had another one that was $26. And you can use the same coupon on all of these. It was $26, but only for 130 of them. Wow. So when you start figuring out how much is it per pod, this is the cheapest option. Even though you see $30, what's the difference? This is regular Tide. The other one had like some smelly thing at like fresh breeze. Right. I'm not, I'm not brand loyal and I'm not smell loyal, but like. I'm cheap loyal. If I can get a Tide. unscented. I, oh, I can't stand unscented, but like, I really like Tide. So it's, it's fancy. You can use unscented. It doesn't, y'all you know, like it doesn't do it. It does not it fix does. it. It does. It fixes doesn't. it. Whenever we make keto chow ice cream, we use the silk almond milk. We use half of this and then half the water. We make the ice cream, we actually use the almond milk and then some heavy cream. Or lately, we've been doing butter. Yeah. We, we have a video on how to make keto chow ice cream with butter, but I've perfected it. And it's much better, so we're probably going to be reshooting that video soon. So, yeah, yeah we got this. What's the difference? I'm working on a horseradish sauce to match Texas Roadhouse. And it's so good. And I have a feeling that horseradish kind of loses its potency. Yes. Because we had some and I'm mixing it with sour cream. And I'm like, how am I adding three times more horseradish than I am sour cream? And, and it's, it's not... still not like giving me a bite. I want to kick you in the face yes. horseradish sauce. Kick me in the face horseradish. Right? So yeah, we got this. I can smell it through the cap. The thing that we actually went to BJ's for. Like oh, we okay, went good. to BJ's for this in toilet paper and we spent 240 something dollars. Don't mm. ask me how. But there's a lot. This is $247 lettuce, guys. Can't live without alcohol. But it's very hard to find it. Uh, another thing, we're not brand loyal, but we do like the packs because again, Caleb's super heavy handed with- Drop it. Throw a whole cup in there or squirt the whole thing. So we get these things and these, again, there was a coupon and then it was also the turkey deal. Yeah. So that's the last thing we got. We got- uh, Mr. Turkey. 19 pound turkey. It's frozen, but all of them are frozen. When they yeah. say, oh, fresh. No, it's not really fresh. No. It was frozen. They fresh just defrosted the it for you. Unless you, unless you, somebody you know shot the turkey. Yeah. So this turkey was free. But it, the original price was $17.64. So it was good. But I have a little problem with the way the BJ's do it because we're sitting there. We did self-checkout, of course. And I'm like, the turkey didn't come off. And she comes over. She's like, it did. And I'm like, it didn't. She's like, you see all these coupons? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, what it does is it takes a percent. It gives you a coupon for the item that matches with it. Yeah. So, for example, Cascade. We had a $4 coupon. And then there was two coupons. It was like $4 and then... $3.78. Yeah, it was a so very she's like, weird amount. All those odd amount ones, like three seventy eight, two seventy eight. dollars she's like, those are- It adds for up. The, it adds up to, to the, the price of the price. turkey. I would rather you just say, here's your $17.68 coupon for the turkey. But I guess they're charging these companies, but it was very hard to understand it, like it, how it happened. I think that it would confuse a lot of people. Yeah. So just be aware that if you have one of these get a product for free deal, just look at the end and see, does the amount of all the extra coupons they yeah. may add, add up to that but price. But I can't complain. I mean, turkeys are really cheap this year. I mean, this is really 89 cents for a, like a butter ball. That's a pretty good price. Well, you really shouldn't complain because God's good. That's right. So that's gonna be our video for today. You know, if you like seeing videos like this, different hauls, check out some of the videos we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon. That way, every single time we go shopping, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.